Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Alice Basketball Training and today I'm going to give you a basketball practice plan so that you can run this in practice if you want to try and improve your full court fast break game. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out these basketball drills. But first, what you want to do is do a quick five minute warm up, something like suicide dribbling or something like that. And then you're going to go from there, do a quick five minute stretch. You could even do a 10 minute stretch that would be dynamic stretching. And then from there, you would be looking at having a five minute drink break while you're explaining and what to your players what you're going to be doing in practice and maybe going over what happened in your last game. Now going from there, if you want to get the full printout of this basketball practice plan, go in the link in the description below and it'll be at the bottom of that page. And you can also check out some custom basketball practice plans for yourself as well on that same page. Okay, so in this first drill, it's just going to be a 10 minute quick drill and we're going to be breaking the pylons ankles. We're going to try and break the ankles of the pylons and then after we break the ankles of the pylons, we're gonna do that 10 times. We're then gonna spin the ball to ourselves. We're gonna do some kind of a fake, a shot fake, a drive fake, and then we're gonna to drive towards the rim and either take a shot or a layup. I would say try to go for 10 layups and then try to go for 10 shots. The second drill is called three man chaser. You're going to be running it for roughly 10 minutes, three man chaser. So in the three man chaser, what we're going to have is one coach. We're going to have three players lined up along the free throw line extended and three players lined up along the baseline. And we're going to have the coach pass to one of those three players. And from there, Let's say he passes to player five. What's going to happen now? Player five is going to be point guard. Player one is going to be running down court. Player two is going to be running down court. And his defender, player three, he needs to go and touch the baseline. Meanwhile, player one red and player four red are going to be running back to play defense, a three on two defense, so that now player three needs to go touch that baseline and recover so that now it's three on two until he gets back and it's three on three. Now you're probably saying, what happens if the coach passes to the wing? Well, if the coach passes to the wing, what has to happen is player four still needs to go and touch baseline. Player one needs to get back on defense. Player three needs to get back on defense. And we need one of two things to happen. We can either have player one pass the player five who's going to be dribbling it down court, or player five and one can switch spots so that now player one is going up the middle. We always want the ball to be going up the middle in case of a trap along the sidelines. So in this case, player four is still going down to touch the baseline. We have player one and three running back for defense, and we're going to be three on two until player four gets his butt back to defense. This drill is what I like to call circle fast break. We used to run this a lot when I was in high school. This drill is called the circle fast break drill, and we're going to be having one team of players in the middle, five players in the middle, five players on the outside. This outside set of players are going to be running in one direction. The inside set of players are going to be running in the opposite direction. From there, once they've gone around a few times, this is the coach. The coach is going to throw up the basketball towards the rim. And now the, player, the blue players on the outside, they're going to be trying to box out the red players from the inside. And then, let's say it doesn't matter who gets that ball. We want blue to get the ball because they're, bo they're boxing out. However... We want to now have outlet players. So these two inside players are going to be outlet players. And we're going to be having players two and five down here. They're going to be breaking out down court. Ideally, what we're looking for is an outlet pass to player one or player four. And then we're going to be having a pass down court to players two or player five. Meanwhile, these red players on the inside are trying to get their butts back on defense so that we can stop this fast break. So of course this is still, this is a fast break drill, but it is still teaching dribbling and still teaching heads up passing. Once the players get all the way down here, score or not score, we're only gonna allow them to take one shot. We're gonna be setting up that double circle 
once again. Coach is going to come down, and he's going to be taking up another shot. We're going to be running the same thing back down on this end, and we're going to keep on going for roughly about 15 minutes. Three-man weave is a lot of fun, and this drill your team is going to absolutely love. Now a major staple in basketball's three on two, three on uh, sorry, three on two, two on one, and what I like to explain to my players is to get quicker, faster. If you've got players leaking out like we always do in three on two, two on one, don't lie to yourself. Players do this; they leak out. If they're leaking out, pass that player the ball. He is then going to go up the middle, and you're going to fill that sideline. Now, when you get down here, obviously it's three on two, two on one, so you can then just go and try and score. And then the player who takes that shot is getting back on defense, and that player who got that rebound with the last other defender is going to be going and going two on one. Now, these two players who made the passes, they're going to be setting up for the defense, and it's going to be two on one. This next drill is full court outlet layups. These are absolutely amazing. We're going to have a line of players on that side of the court, a line of players over here. We are going to have one player down here, another one on the other end of the court, both with basketballs, and one player right in the middle. And what we're looking to do here is player one is going to pass to player two. Meanwhile, player one is going to be running down court. When he's running down court, same as player two, same idea. Player two is then going to pass to player five, and four is going to pass to player one in the middle. And then those players are going to be passing back to players one and two. Meanwhile, they're going to be still driving towards the rim going in for a layup. Those two players are going to follow, and these two players are going to be following their pass. Next, they're going to go in for that layup. They're going to go in the back of those lines. Five and four are now going to get that rebound, and they're going to be outletting to the next person in line. Again, same idea. They're going to be cutting down court. They're going to be passing towards the middle, and then player one and five are going to be going back down court. They're going to be passing the ball to each other. They're going to be going in for the layup. These two players are going to be chasing, and these two players are going to be going into the middle. Two-man outlet full court drill is fantastic. What we're going to be having is now player two is going to take a step out, coach is going to take a shot, and player two is going to then rebound the ball. He is going to outlet the ball to player two red, and player two red is going to dribble up the middle of the court. Player two blue now, he is going to be cutting along the sideline, and player two is then going to pass him the ball in going in for that layup. Now if they've got another set of lines over here, they would alternate, so player two was in the baseline line before, he will now be on the sideline, and player two was in the sideline, so now he'll be on the baseline. And then you would keep on alternating sides. If you don't have enough players though, they can just run back down. And then roughly in the last 15 to 20 minutes of the practice, I go over our plays that we're going to be running, and then I also like to finish off with a quick five minute meeting as to say, hey, this is what we're expecting to do in our next tournament, in our next game, or whatever it may be. Going from there, we would also then be running some kind of a cool down and some stretches as well for five to ten minutes. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and go check out that basketball practice plan in the link in the description below.